we mentioned earlier, so Rockstar is uh, planning to launch uh, a, a trilogy of their one of their more popular games, uh, the GTA series or Grand Theft Auto. So they're planning to release the GTA 3. Uh, you also have Vice City and San Andreas. San Andreas I haven't played. But my brother, my younger brother has played it. Looks interesting, but is it a good buy here? Now, obviously, you know, games has been popular, you know, recently, especially during last year when people were stuck at home looking for ways to entertain themselves, find ways to uh, keep themselves busy, so to speak, right? So games have been in a, on high demand for the longest time. And as you can see, for PC builders, you know, there's a short shortage of, you know, GPUs and the prices has been, you know, still still at a high price which does not make sense for you to to make an investment but going back to, to to gaming per se so you know you have grand theft auto one of the more popular franchises here and you know they're used they're leveraging on the nostalgia of people of gamers of of old and obviously newcomers to the industry who haven't played those games unless you have an older console uh, they're leveraging on that, which is good in a sense. But you know, I'm always looking forward to a, a newer version, a better version of GTA. But you know, if there's a demand, obviously they're leveraging on that. How successful will they be? Will there be any subtle changes or differences from the original release in the previous consoles all the way to the current ones, whether it's in PS4 or in PS5? Unless uh, they can make substantial in, uh, improvements in the graphic fidelity. Uh, or in terms of gameplay, I, I don't know if it's a uh, worthwhile uh, purchase here. But obviously, I could be the minority here, not the the the, ma the majority here. So let's see here. So obviously, it's going to be released not just in consoles, but also in PC or desktops, right? So question here is, uh, what are the requirements? So will you have enough juice or power to be able to play those games? So let's see, you know, uh, will it require or will it be demanding here? So let's see here. So th this is a remaster from your PS2 era. Okay. So the new version of GTA will only require two, three gigabytes of graphic memory and a minimum of four gigabytes recommended. Now, obviously, you know, uh, gig uh, gigabytes of memory has increased tremendously over the past few years or decades or so so i think it's easy enough to meet those requirements because some even like ask or the latest triple a games would ask for uh, significantly more storage here and then uh for cpu uh although they would ask the usual 18 to 16 uh, in terms of file size or storage it will only require 45 gigabytes now obviously some games even i think red dead redemption requires at least 70 80 or even 100 gigabytes of storage so you know can be restrictive you, you need a bigger storage which could be costly especially if you're using not just a typical optical storage drive or sata ssd or even nv nvme storage here could be pretty costly but obviously the trade-off is uh, faster access of your data here and more reliable if it's a uh, nv.me anyway so the question here is, will it be a successful uh, venture here for GTA? And obviously, we've been looking forward to the next installment. You know, they've released uh, Red Dead Redemption, which I haven't played. So looking forward to that in the future is, you know, uh, the expectation is at an all time high. So they need to find ways to innovate, uh, provide a better product than what they did in their previous iterations. Right. Which is, you know, a lofty expectation. But anyway, going back here. So the minimum requirement, as you can see here, you can install with a Windows 10 64-bit OS. A uh, minimum of i5 6600K or AMD FX 6300. And you need at least 8 gigabytes of memory. Graphics cards uh, as low as 760 GTX and or an AMD Radeon R9. And then sufficient disk space is at least 45. So obviously it will not be as demanding as compared to the other triple a games here but but the point here is uh will be a, a lot of people will be excited to to play those games because obviously 
Uh, you could play this in your older consoles or even play in, uh, in emulated games or in an emulator of sorts, which I think uh, Rockstar has been trying to uh, claim uh, what they call it? DMC rights uh, over in, is it in YouTube or? Yeah, I think in terms of the gaming com modding community who, who's trying to promote uh, the popularity in terms of, you know, uh, what do you call this? They try to improve the game by in terms of offering not just the base game but adding modifications. That's why it's a modding uh, community so that people could, you know, play a longer period of time, uh, getting more value to the games per se. But obviously, is that considered legal or illegal? Uh, who, who knows here? Now, the, the plan of the launch is this month. So stay tuned for that one. So we'll keep you updated with regards to, you know, will it be a big seller for many console owners for the coming uh, holiday season? Now, me per se, I'm not looking forward per se. I might consider it in the future, but, you know, even if I have, uh, I, I bought the game, I may not have the time to play it. So it might be practical for me per se. But for you, if you have the time and if you haven't played it, I think, you know, it's a good purchase. And you're getting three games in one here. And obviously for me, I like the story component and, you know, the gameplay is just an added bonus here.